Tagging is strongly associated AL with Web 2.0. So why do we need a semantic web at all if tagging is working in helping us to find what we need? Um, yeah, this is a very good question because I think it has been either misportrayed or misconceived by many people. So it's, I like this question because uh, at least I personally have a little bit of a different opinion than what people sometimes say. So first of all, tagging is, is very good, it's very useful, that's why it's very popular, and it is semantic web. It is a light version of semantic web. And it's very good. And people who think semantic web should be something very heavy uh, are, in my opinion, wrong. Semantic web should also be very light, just a little bit less light than tagging. Uh, let me give you an example. So if you tag something, the, the nice thing about tagging, in my opinion, is that it's ambiguous. And people that talk about semantic web as being a logical layer on top of the current web, they think everything needs to be explicit, and we need to disambiguate everything. And everything I say has to be completely clear. But that's not the way people work. People like actually ambiguity, because that's the reason I can talk to you and we can understand each other, or at least we think we understand each other, because we leave room for ambiguity. So then I can think, I say one thing, you hear another thing, and we're all happy. And so if, if you force me to completely explain everything that I mean, I'll go crazy. And the nice thing about tagging is I don't really have to explain everything that I mean. And, and that's good. And so if you force people on this so-called semantic web to be completely, completely clear about everything that they mean, they will go crazy. But they can be a little bit more clear than by just tagging. So for example, if you tag, you see a picture on Flickr, and you tag it with uh, Knut. I don't know why, maybe you think it is Knut who you see in the picture. And I come along and I say, that's nonsense. This isn't Knut. Uh, how do you remove your tag? You know, how do you later say, I, at first I thought it was Knut, now I'm mistaken. You know, how, how do we make tags about tags? I don't know. How can I say, you know, I, I can do very little. And that's good, but sometimes I want to do a little bit more. And so we want to say sometimes a little bit more. And semantic web, you know, people sometimes say uh, tagging is bottom up, semantic web is top down. That's utter nonsense. You know, whoever told you this, uh, in my opinion, gave a wrong picture. Tagging is bottom up, and semantic web is bottom up. The only thing semantic web gives you is a language to express things. It doesn't force you to say something. If I, if I give you English, I give you French, it, I don't force you to make any statement. I don't, I don't limit your content. I just give you a language. And that's what semantic web gives you. It gives you a language. And you can use it the same way as you use tagging, by saying what you think about certain things. And other people can use that. And so, once again, I think tagging is really something we need to learn from that simple approaches work and, and help people to get started without forcing them to completely make a full picture of their whole world that is completely consistent and so on.